Hey, this is Matt Marchant, and I would like to talk about anger. So what does our anger really represent? What does it really mean when we're angry? When we're angry, we all have a literal story of what we're angry about. Somebody didn't show up on time. Somebody didn't do what they said they were supposed to do. Uh, your plans fell apart. Whatever it is, right? You say, I'm angry because of this thing right here. That's the literal thing that you're angry with. And in order to get a deeper understanding of your anger, you have to figure out what are you literally angry at. Now that might sound easy, but for some people, sometimes uh, admitting that you're angry can be a challenge. With certain cultures or with certain um, parts of society, certain professions, um, we trick ourselves into thinking that we're not allowed to get angry. So even coming up with a literal story of why we're angry can be a challenge. So the first thing to understanding our anger is ask ourselves, what am I literally angry about? Once you figure that out, the next step is to ask, what does that mean? What that question means is this. You're taking this literal um, example, this literal expression, this little meaning of your anger and going, okay, um, my friend was supposed to show up at this time. Uh, we were supposed to go out. He didn't show up. He didn't call. Nothing. What an ass. I'm pissed at him. Um, that's your little story. That's why, that's why you're going to tell me you're angry. That's why you're going to tell yourself that you're angry. But that's not really why you're angry. You've got to ask yourself, well, what does that mean to you? What does it mean to you that a friend of yours just didn't show up? That he didn't call. Did nothing. What? It's disrespectful. Sure it is. What does that mean? Well, it means that uh, he doesn't take me seriously. Sure, and what does it mean when someone doesn't take you seriously? Ah, it means that I don't matter. Bingo, it means you don't matter. That's what you're really pissed off about, and that's what you're angry about. When we can get into that level of understanding our anger, now we can start really working at the roots of where our anger is really coming from. Anger is just an expression of two other emotions. If we hang out in the literal sense and talking about, well, this is why I'm angry, this didn't happen, this happened, this happened, this happened, whatever, whatever, the, whatever the, the scenario is, the story is, if we just always hang out in this literal story of, of anger, all we're going to do is just talk to ourselves, talk to others uh, about this story. And there's never going to be any resolve within ourselves, at least from my experience. There's not going to be any resolve within ourselves to understand where this anger is coming from and how to have a different response next time instead of having just another reaction ah, of anger. So literal, then get into the next step, symbolic, metaphorical, different ways of, of saying it. But basically you're taking your literal story and go, okay, what does that really mean? Figure that out. And now you know you're not mad that your friend didn't show up. You're mad that in that moment you did not feel like you mattered. There are more steps to go through in understanding our anger, but I wanted to share that with you right now. I have found that just taking our anger out of the literal, taking it even just one step, even just asking what would that mean one time, and getting into the next stage of understanding makes a world of difference in understanding our, our anger and really starting to make uh, a different response to our anger the next time something comes up. Again, there's other steps you would go through from that, but that's a great start. Find out what you say, this is what I'm literally angry about, great. Write it down and then ask yourself, what does that literal story, what does it mean? And then ask that, what does it mean? as many times as you're able to ask and as deep as you're able to dig and you're gonna find the truer source to your anger and you can start dealing with it down on a deeper level and not a superficial level. So, hope that helps you. It helps me a lot with my own anger issues. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, comment, ask a question, like the video, share the video, subscribe, all that good stuff or it's gonna make me angry. <laughs> That's my literal story. I wonder what that would mean to me if I get angry from you not watching or from not commenting on this video. Hmm. 
it has nothing to do with the literal story. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk again maybe about anger. Bye.